Uh, no, no, I still uh, photograph a lot for myself, uh, for fun, for just, uh, yeah, I love still photography still. I, I do, um, well, of course, in preparation for a film, I shoot a lot of stills. Uh, sometimes I also do like the poster or other stuff for the, for the depending on the project. And I guess Denmark is my, is where I feel at home. I, I came to Denmark when I was four years old and I've lived there all my life, went, did all my school in Denmark. And so it's, uh, I, f I guess I feel pretty Danish. Uh, I don't remember much from Chile, but of course it's, it's part of my background as well and my family, of course. And so I remember, it's many years ago. <laughs> I, I remember it as if we, 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 you know, we were very happy with that film. Thought we had done a, 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 a good film. So, so, but uh, yeah, it was of course a big deal that it uh, won in Cannes and 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 was distributed to the whole world. Uh, yeah, and 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 also because it won the Camera d'Or, many people thought it was for the cinematography. Uh, mistakenly, that was uh, my my luck. That, uh, <laughs> that they thought yeah, that the award had anything to do with the camera <laughs> work. Every project has their own challenges. And for example, I mean, Melancholia was uh, interesting because there was a lot of uh, visual effects. So there was a, there was a big uh, like uh, post-production school <laughs> for me to do all these uh, so many shots for, that were for later. And uh, so, but I mean, you know, uh, the amazing thing is you can get a lot of help. Uh, there's a lot of really good people out there that will help you when you. So, so that it's every film has its challenging, but challenges. But I don't think it's uh, it's still, uh, you know, just normal life, uh, relationships, kids is more challenging. I feel very fortunate to be where I am and to do the projects that I do. So I think uh, so far un without uh, unconsciously I've been making good choices, I think. I like the, the, to do this kind of uh, events and talks, master classes. I think uh, I was, uh, you know, I, I like to to be forced to put into words what I do and why I do it. And we're here to share experiences and there's a lot of uh, young people who, who, are, have, who are here because of, they love cinema and I think that's a, it's a great environment, great, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a beautiful thing you have going. It's, uh, an advice would be to, I think, to find, uh, find people at your same level, peers that you can do work with and do projects and film. And I think, you know, you need to shoot, shoot film a lot, do a lot, do work, work, I do the work. I think that's, uh, that's an advice. And today with the technology, it's, it's more accessible, it's, ac it's pretty accessible. You can, uh, with not that much money, you can have pretty good looking uh, camera, I mean, cameras that do beautiful images and so I think you know it's um, it's pretty uh, it's it's much more accessible now and I would just uh, tell people to work to do do the do the projects and find people to do it with because it's a collaboration it's not a it's hard to do alone <laughs>